As buses continue to arrive from Texas with migrants, the city continues to struggle with housing them with the shelter system now at capacity. We've been hearing about this all week, but now the city is opening a new arrival center. This one is at the Roosevelt Hotel. Fox 5's Lizette Nunez joins us now from outside the hotel with the latest on the city's ninth relief center. Good morning, Lizette. Good morning, Dan and Tashani. The Roosevelt Hotel will now be used as an intake uh, center and also as a shelter, so migrants will be able to come here and access any legal and medical services. Bus after bus filled with migrants continue to arrive at Port Authority Bus Terminal. This one arriving from McAllen, Texas. City officials continue to struggle to find places for them to stay temporarily. We are at a crisis point. Today, the city will open up the Roosevelt Hotel to asylum seekers after it closed down during the pandemic. These are pictures from inside as 175 rooms will be made available to house migrant families with children. The daily arrivals increased from approximately 200 to 300 a day to 600 to 700 a day. We caught up with this father of two. He tells Fox 5 he left Venezuela on March 1st and recently arrived to New York City. He says, thank God we are somewhat stable here in New York City. They are taking us to a hotel. This woman says she is staying at a shelter with over 300 people. She says she's happy to have a roof over her head after making the trek from Venezuela. She says the journey through the jungle is unimaginable. You have to live to tell the tale, adding that some people did not make it out alive. Meanwhile, Fox 5 has also learned that about 80 migrants were bus from New York City to the Knights Inn in Liberty in Sullivan County on Thursday. Sullivan County officials say they are considering their legal options to stop Mayor Adams from sending more migrants. Sullivan County has also declared a state of emergency. Now, the officials there, they are worried that the homeless people that currently live in hotels would be displaced by asylum seekers. We are live in Midtown. Dan and Tashani will send things back inside. Was that? Thank you very much.